Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here coming at you with another two box break of Panini Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer, the big UEFA Euro tournament right here. One spot gets you two countries on this big list here. So let's double you up. And there's all the teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Names and clubs, names and countries four times, one and a three. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. We got Brian down to Aaron after four. And one and a three, four times for the countries. One, two, three, and a one, fourth and final time. After four, we got Sweden down to Italy. All right, Brian with Sweden, Carl with Finland, Jimmy Connell with France, Matthew Shear with Austria and Slovakia, Roger with Denmark, Devandra with the Netherlands, Brian with Belgium, Carl with Croatia, Ryan with Spain, Jimmy with Germany, Matthew with the Czech Republic, Ryan Lind with Turkey and Scotland, uh, Roger with North Macedonia, Matthew with Switzerland, Daniel with Poland, Brian with Hungary, Aaron with Ukraine, Daniel with Russia, Ryan Lind with Wales, Brian Croft, with England, Devendra with Portugal, and Aaron with Italy. All right, let's order these um, alphabetically by country. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break and uh, just grab two random boxes from my back table right there. So when we come back, we'll dig into that. Stick around. BRB. Welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here in break number eight. The first of the month, July. Thanks for spending a bit of your first of the month with us. Appreciate it. Oh, I need to pay rent. Should probably, probably pay rent. It's probably a good idea. Well, Scotland is not too bad, Ryan Lynn. They've got Liverpool... Left back, right back, Liverpool fullback, Andrew Robertson. He's pretty good. I think they've got... Who's that Aston Villa player? Ryan McGinn, maybe? Andy Robertson's pretty good. When, when on Liverpool, when Andy Robertson and Trent Alexander-Arnold are in full form and fitness, that's a pretty uh, pretty great fullback duo. what we got here. Oh, and what? I think the first round of quarterfinals games start tomorrow? What time? Friday, July 2nd, that's tomorrow. Switzerland, Spain on at noon Eastern, so 9 a.m. my time. And then Belgium, Italy, tomorrow. That should be a good match. 3 o'clock Eastern, 12 my time, so I will probably be watching the second half as we as I go through orders tomorrow. Alright, thanks everybody. And all cards ship. And it'd probably be worth looking up on a secondary market, at least looking up uh, the rookies and just seeing what you know, seeing if they have any current value. If not, some great future values of possibility there too. There's Mason Greenwood, silver for England. Brian Croft with the three lines.
It's not numbered. Um, England play on Saturday. They're the late game on Saturday. Italy have a good shot at winning the whole thing. There's Bukayo Saka. Also for England. Here's a rookie parallel here. That's Jeremy Duku for Belgium. That'll be for Brian Croft. João Felix for Portugal. He's pretty good. Even Hazard. I feel like Jao Felix didn't get too many minutes this tournament, but definitely a future star for that youngster. Next half. And the autograph is Swat Sardar. For Germany. That's for that's for Jimmy Connell and the Germans. Nice. England finally taking care of business against Germany after many decades of hurt in the uh, international stage. There's Marcus Thurman, another rookie here, mosaic pattern for France, Le Bleu. That is for Jimmy Connell. There's Jao Felix. Oh, he's injured, Jao Felix. Here's a silver, rookie silver for Austria. That's going to be for Matthew Shiro. What's up, Ryan? How's it going? Doing well, doing well. I actually don't know if, if goalies sell well in the on the secondary market. Here's a keeper right here for the Czech Republic. Like a lot of sports though, it's usually the offensive players that you know, the goal scorers that are that are getting the most attention hobby wise. There's Timo Werner. And there's Jan Gregus for Slovakia. That's going to go to Matthew Shiro. Right, so England would have home country advantage for the last two matches if they beat Ukraine. Right, so they're so the match for England, they're, yeah, they're in Rome. I like Diogo Jota. Nice player for, uh, for Port not only Portugal, but for Lu my club, Liverpool, as well. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Could be worse, right? Could be worse things to do than watch Jaspies. We got Kevin De Bruyne. One out of uh, 49. Nice for Belgium. The Belgium-Italy match in Munich tomorrow. That's the late game. Switzerland, Spain is the early game tomorrow, and they're in St. Petersburg. It did not, Peter. There's a schedule that's in the chat. That'll that'll give you uh, that'll let you know when anything's going to break, or if something broke. Previously, so it'll tell you what we've done, what we're currently doing, and what we're gonna do. Nightbot drops the schedule frequently in the chat. My virtual assistant, and it's always pinned in our chat as well. Let's 
good sponsorship opportunity then. So Switzerland, Spain tomorrow in St. Petersburg. That's the early game. Belgium, Italy, the late game. They're in Munich. Then Czech Republic, Denmark in Baku on Saturday. That's the early game. Ukraine, England in Rome. All right. Then the semis are at Wembley. And then the finals at, at Wembley too. Peter saying Italy is going to take down the Euro. Yeah, I think they've got they've got a pretty clear path. If they get past Belgium, right? Because then they'd play Switzerland or Spain. But Italy has been looking pretty solid. I've got a little financial investment in them. I've got a little financial investment in Switzerland, Italy, and Denmark. So I have at least three teams that are still left in the quarters. Oh, here's a stained glass. For uh, Ferran Torres for Spain. I think these are pretty short printed. This is going to be for Ryan Lind. Now, I'm not, I can't can't say I'm too familiar with this particular player, but up and coming midfielder with Manchester City. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Pep will give him some playing time. And a couple solid players here. And we got a rookie for Finland, Marcus Force. That's Carl. With Finland, there's a Kai Havertz for Jimmy in Germany, Jack Grealish for England, Brian Croft, there's Mason Greenwood, red also for the three lines, Brian. There's a Cristiano Ronaldo. Another rookie right here, and then we got Stanislav Lobotka, 50 out of 99 for Slovakia. Blue parallel for Matthew Shira. This one's for Russia, Bakayev. Zelenkhan Bakayev for Russia. Daniel Katz with that one. This is just Liverpool bias here. There's Virgil van Dijk. Now there's might have gone further if he was fit. There's Diogo Jota for Portugal. That's for Devendra. There's Jaden Sancho. Just made the move to, uh, to Man United. There's a Vladimir Kufal. Rookie for the Czech Republic. They're in the quarters. That's for Matthew Shira. Jaden Sancho for England. There's a, a Trincao. Rookie Silver for Portugal for Devendra. Ansu Fati, red. Should 
be expecting an autograph, right? I don't think we've seen the auto yet. There it is. Mason Greenwood, and it's for Portugal. Gonzalo Guedes. That's for Devendra and Portugal. And there's Aryan uh, Ademi for North Macedonia, red. Rookie, and at the end here is Florenzi. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's 2020, 2021 Panini Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer. Two box random country break number eight from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's more in the store. So, uh, on my back table right here, we can do one, two, three, four more breaks of this tonight if you'd like. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, and I'll see you next time for the next break.